Uh, I talked to him last night. And Is in fact, nuts? it was sort of, what? Is he nuts? <laughs> uh, no. Greta Van Susteren's departure from Fox News in September 2016 sent shockwaves through the media landscape, marking the end of an era for one of the network's longest tenured anchors. While the exact reasons behind her exit were not publicly disclosed, speculation swirled amid reports of contractual disagreements and purportedly strained relationships with certain colleagues. As she bid farewell to her role of on the record with Greta Van Susteren, questions lingered about the circumstances surrounding her exit. Join Facts First as we take a look at Greta's career, her departure from Fox News, and the co-workers she didn't like. Early Life and Rise to Fame Greta Van Susteren was born June 11, 1954, in Appleton, Wisconsin. Her path to prominence began with a strong foundation in law. After earning her J.D. from Georgetown University Law Center, she swiftly rose the ranks as a prominent attorney. Greta's transition from law to journalism was a pivotal moment. Reflecting on the shift, she once remarked, quote, I wanted to do something I enjoyed, and I didn't enjoy practicing law. Journalism was always in the back of my head. The shift propelled her towards a career in broadcast journalism, where she ultimately carved out her place in the media landscape. Her rise to fame came as she became a familiar face on television screens across America. Her intellect, tenacity, and knack for hard-hitting interviews garnered attention and accolades, landing coveted roles on major networks including CNN and Fox News solidified her status as a respected journalist. Speaking about her approach, she emphasized the importance of integrity and impartiality, stating, quote, I'm an old-fashioned journalist, and I want to make sure whatever I report is as accurate as possible. Time at Fox News During her time at Fox, Greta Van Susteren became a prominent figure within the network's lineup of primetime hosts. Hosting the show On the Record with Greta Van Susteren for over a decade, she became known for her in-depth interviews and analytical commentary. Reflecting on her role at Fox News, she once said, I'm a journalist. I'm not in the entertainment business. My job is to get the facts and get them right. Her program attracted a significant viewership and contributed to the network's reputation for conservative commentary and news coverage. Van Susteren's reporting style was characterized by her direct questioning and her pursuit of clarity on complex issues. This approach resonated with many viewers, solidifying her as a trusted source of news and analysis in the eyes of her audience. Throughout her tenure at Fox News, Van Susteren covered a wide range of topics, from political scandals to international affairs. Her dedication to thorough and fair reporting earned her respect from colleagues and viewers alike. Despite the network's conservative leanings, Van Susteren maintained her independence as a journalist, striving to present balanced perspectives on the issues of the day. Contention with Megyn Kelly One of the notable feuds during Greta Van Susteren's time at Fox News was her reported rivalry with fellow anchor Megyn Kelly. While both were prominent figures within the network, there were rumors of tension between them, though neither publicly addressed the specifics of the relationship. Reports suggested there was a competitive atmosphere between the two, fueled by their respective roles and standing within the network. In an article in the Daily Mail, there was a report about the tension between the two. According to that site, an insider with knowledge of the situation speculated that Greta harbored animosity towards Megan. Quote, they both started working together out of the Fox News Washington, D.C. office when Megan joined the network in 2004 and Greta never liked her, explained the insider. She was extremely jealous of Megan. Despite the speculation surrounding their relationship, both Van Susteren and Kelly maintained professionalism on air. But there were occasional subtle jabs or comments that hinted on underlying tensions. Observers noted instances where the two anchors appeared to be vying for the spotlight or subtly challenging each other's viewpoints during discussions on air. While neither of them publicly commented extensively on their reported feuds, their interaction and dynamics were closely watched by media outlets and viewers alike. Issues with Tucker Another notable aspect of her time at Fox News were disagreements with fellow Fox News host Tucker Carlson. While both were prominent figures in the network, there were instances where they clashed on certain issues or approaches to reporting. Van Susteren, known for her commitment to impartial journalism, occasionally expressed some views or opinions that differed from Carlson's. These differences in perspective led to occasional clashes or disagreements between the two. 
One particular instance of note was when Greta called out Tucker for some lewd and potentially sexist statements made on a blog post on The Daily Caller. Tucker was a founder and former investor in the conservative news site. Greta chided Tucker on air for the lewd headline on a blog post about Mike Tyson meeting Sarah Palin. Greta and others found the headline sexist, and while Carlson had eventually apologized for it, Greta felt it had been too little too late, and that it showed a pattern of Tucker's potentially sexist views and headlines. Carlson defended himself, pointing out that most of the sexist elements to the blog post were simply quoting things Mike Tyson had said. He then shot back at Greta, saying she had gone easy on Tyson when she interviewed him. Quote, if you're so offended by Mike Tyson, why not ask him a real question? Carlson said, why didn't you ask him a single hard question? Instead, you let him talk about his pigeons. But the extent and nature of their conflicts were not extensively documented, and neither Greta nor Tucker publicly addressed the specifics of their disagreements. The two were said to have been friends, so it's also possible that any spats they had, on air or off, were simply because they're both passionate people. Departure from Fox News in September 2016, Greta shocked many when she announced her departure from Fox News after more than a decade with the network. The circumstances surrounding her exit were met with speculation and curiosity, as Van Susteren had been a fixture on Fox News for years. While the exact reasons for her departure were not publicly disclosed, reports suggested that contractual disagreements may have played a role. She addressed her departure in a Facebook post, stating, quote, Fox has not felt like home to me for a few years, and I took advantage of the clause in my contract, which allows me to leave now. Her departure marked the end of an era for both her and the network, as she had been a significant presence in Fox News' prime time lineup. Following her departure from Fox News, Van Susteren briefly joined MSNBC, hosting the show For the Record with Greta, before departing the network in 2017. And while her time at Fox News has come to an end, Van Susteren continues to pursue opportunities in journalism and broadcasting. Membership in Scientology Greta Van Susteren's affiliation with Scientology has been a subject of interest and scrutiny throughout her career. Raised in a Catholic family, Van Susteren converted to Scientology in the 90s following her husband, John P. Cole, who's also a Scientologist. While Greta has been relatively private about her involvement with the controversial religious movement, her ties to Scientology have occasionally surfaced in the media. In a 2010 interview with the Washington Post, Van Susteren addressed questions about her faith, stating, quote, I have never made a secret of my faith. But she's also emphasized that her religious beliefs do not influence her work as a journalist, stating, quote, I am a journalist who covers Scientology. I'm not a Scientologist who covers journalism. Despite her attempts to maintain a separation between her personal beliefs and professional endeavors, her membership in Scientology has drawn criticism and raised questions about potential conflicts of interest. Post-Fox News Career Outside of her television work, Van Susteren has also been active in the digital sphere, engaging with audiences through social media platforms and her personal blog. She's used these platforms to share her perspectives on various issues and interact with her followers, further extending her reach beyond traditional media challenges. She's also been involved in various advocacy and philanthropic efforts, leveraging her platform to raise awareness about important social and political issues. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Greta's? Do you think she was a better fit at Fox News or at MSNBC? Let us know in the comments section below.